Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for another exciting episode of TV where all your excitement is. <laughs> Alright guys, I got all these bulkheads glued in. <clears throat> you know, this almost slipped by me. You know, that's where you put the fuel tanks in there. See way down in there? That's where you gotta put the fuel tanks in. This has this stuff has to be made removable. See. Bam. This is too. I got it to where it bolts. Bolts in. Whoa. To the smaller piece right there. See the bolts? Just this strip right here is glued on. That one ain't. It just slides. Put blind nuts on the bottom. It's built pretty heavy duty. So, but you gotta get the things in and out. Alright. I uh, got all these back bulkheads glued in. Both sides with high saw. These are all done. I got the landing gear mounts. This kind of has me a little concerned, but there just ain't no other way to do it. You know, the bulkheads fit the fuselage. Can I make sure? See all them little holes? This one's got a hole in it. You know, they're all on the left side. All these are. But this one's a little higher than this one. You can only tell right there. See, so you can't put your finger in there, but you can here. And all that stuff is grooved, and uh, one's left and one's right. That might be why they do that. It might be that the bottom of the fuselage ain't exactly right. And um, so, it might be supposed to be like that. I don't know, Kevin, but that's how they go together, brother. And uh, uh, there's just nothing. See, and this backer plate right here, it's just got a backer plate behind it. This one kind of sticks up on this side, and this one don't. It kind of sinks down a little bit. And then backer plates are the same. But I put these two, I've been piddling them with a while. I knew these were a little different. Because if you put, put them both on top of each other, they're a little different. But uh, they have to be right. Stay another way, they can go in there. And they make hundreds, there's hundreds of these out there flying. So I'm assuming they did that to, uh, so it's, Sit level with the wings or something. Um, doot, doot. But now I have to cut the nose off. Alright. Thank you. 
Where's your mama? Mama's home. <laughs> Every time, till the fan up all my <laughs> Come on, that's not a good place for you to hang out. Come here. I got some tricksy poo. Yeah, this is a tricksy poo. She's a good big girl now. Wish I could say she was a good girl. <laughs> nah, she's a good girl sometimes. I'll get the rest of this wood glued in here tonight. There ain't that much. A couple more pieces. I think except for the turbine mounts. So I can get started on the wings. Uh, you know, a little bit of work today and then get them glassed. Oh, Chris's stuff.
Yep, just a little. So I'm going to put it up here and put my kind of tack glue it in place and drill my alignment pins. That'll just go on there. And then we come out here with a piece of wood and make the cone. Kind of like the Tomcat's got on it. This one go up and down. We can go sideways. Kind of like the way the Tomcat is. It's got, you know, both pieces. Yeah, you think that that would be a lot stronger, wouldn't it? I think the plans call for it like that though. Bunch of these corner braces. Bam. Like so. But I believe it said cut it out of scrap. So <laughs> I don't think that was the piece. I think this actually goes somewhere else. Yeah. I don't know. I'll get it figured out. And uh, we'll make you another video, and I'm going to keep on trucking. I'm going to get this thing put together. Remember, all i got to do is uh, get the wings glass, prime it, and do the gear doors. Just pretty much build it, but I don't have to put anything in it or paint it. So it's going to be out the door. And uh, when I'm priming on this, I'm going to get Ke or, uh, Chris's Mustang primed up. And uh, we'll be trucking, guys. I'll be priming in not long. But we're going to give you a lesson in glassing. Glassing the stabs and stuff. And, uh, and uh, give you a lesson in that. And we're going to keep rolling. So, till then, we'll see you back in the shop.